What is up guys, Patson here, and in today's video we're going to be starting kind of a new series but it's kind of incorporated into the real RTG. We've got some gameplay on the background of squad battles and just in a few games while we talk about this new thing. I'm starting, so this is going to be the weekly roundup where I just talk about all my progress in FIFA 18, the road to glory and the real RTG, which is basically the same thing, well it is the same thing. So currently we have started the first week of Ultimate Team, we did start on the 26th, I do believe it was early release of FIFA 18, and during the week we obviously got more players on the 29th during, during the full release of FIFA 18 in the UK, which I could see a total difference straight away in the market, the, a lot of players got flooded at that time. And you could pretty much trade with any player and make coins, which I did a lot. So I can see it fully and kind of proudly, to be honest, this week. I have spent a lot of time just to get as many coins as I can for the upcoming Foot Champions, which is this weekend. Which is going to be difficult because, well, obviously, a lot of people haven't played Foot Champions in some people, the case is like three or four months. But me, mine's say like two months, but the gameplay on FIFA 17 is nothing like this gameplay, which we'll talk about that in the video as well. So Foot Champions, this weekend starts on a Friday, the same rewards as last year, I think a few have changed in the lower ranks, but that's about it. And Squad Battles is actually on the weekends as well, so you're going to have to play around 80 games if you want both set of rewards. I'm not going to play Squad Battles as much as Foot Champions. I'm still a majority for Champions play, I just don't like offline play. So we're probably going to get around gold throughout the week and maybe play for fitness on the weekend if we have to. But I intend to build a full for Champions squad and use fitness. So that's for Champions out the way and that's the first week. So the first week majority has been dominated by squad battles and people playing online seasons. So the first thing I did throughout the week is I, well, the first thing is I bought from some new players to trade with. The main players were Shatov and Pereira, Ricardo Pereira from Porto. Very decent cards and very cheap. So I'm going to give away this trading method here, which you pretty much bid on, well, you mass bid on every Shatov on the market here. Philly transfer list full of 50. And you've all bid on all of them in around 650. I'd recommend to do this late at night or early morning when not many people are on and they may be listening for 12 hours. That way you're more likely to win the bid and then if you wait until the next day, around peak times, around 3 to 6, I would say you could sell them on for there for around 1.6 to 1.8, which is giving you like double or triple your profit, which I've done a lot throughout the week and that's how we got around 500k coins, which you would have seen in the thumbnail and I can't remember I've already mentioned that. But throughout the week, we did actually pack Ericsson and want to watch Ederson, which pretty much bumped my coin total up to that 500k mark after I'd done some trading and the mass bidding became a lot easier when I got to that point because it didn't matter if it was a thousand coins I made or 500 coins, which it did before. So if someone outbidded the shot of at 650, I could buy pretty much just buy him at 750 and just make 400 coins profit. Any profit's good profit in my opinion, so that's what started happening. After I sold Ericsson for 90k and Edison, the one to watch God for 60k, we had a healthy amount of coins to trade with, and after that, we pretty much built a Premier League squad, which was full of Gabriel Jesus, Emery Chan, Bakayogo, then we had Manalas and Socrates in defence, and them two defenders weren't very good, but back Yogo and Gabriel Jesus I was very impressed with. Probably two of the corporation's most famous players for the age, but back Yogo and Gabriel Jesus are going to be the kind of poster boys for foot champions at the minute. I've seen them in, I'm in Division 6 in the online seasons, and you can't run in a straight line without hitting one of them. Back Yogo, the CDM, and Jesus at striker. Both solid candidates for anyone's foot champions team, but in my opinion, I think I'm going to go with either, either a Calcio A team or a hybrid with them two in it. But currently, FIFA is going through this stage of trying to get ready to 
kind of just where everything settles down in the market and SBCs and other stuff. So throughout the week and how we got actual Ericsson and Ederson is doing the SBCs. I completed the Hybrid League and Hybrid Nation which gives you a rare Mega Pack and a Mega Pack. I think it's two Mega Packs, two rare Mega Packs within the SBC. So you get four packs from each SBC and then one main pack for completing both of them. So in there that's where we've got Ericsson, we've got Delphio, we've got a lot of great, great cards in there. The video will be on my channel, it'll be episode 7 or 6, it's one of them, you can look for them. But it was a good episode actually, you were getting them players, boosting the coins up, giving them a great start on the road to glory and without start actual spending any money on the game or doing anything, just with trading, hard work and time. We got to that price mark which I'm thinking about buying an icon actual to start the series off with and build a team around. I think it's a good idea but I'm not really sure if it's kind of essential when the first week of foot champions you're more likely to build an overpowered squad to try and get more coins to buy a better legend. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do yet but that's pretty much everything I've done this weekend. I've completed SBCs. I've played a lot of squad battles actually with Nelly at the first 100th, I think we had 88, something like that, wins and 5 losses and 3 draws, something like that I think we had. And I had won my first draft this week and we got a second draft and I lost in the first round. That's the first thing to mention as well. As well as I, what else did I do, I can't really remember that much. I should have written this down. But SBCs are done, I was going to start the league SBCs but I wasn't really keen on any of the players in there so I didn't bother and what else was I going to say I can't remember now as the gameplay progresses I think there's going to be a patch at some point to try and fix defending because in my opinion at this point in FIFA especially with foot champions coming around either the defending's got to change or something's got to change to play 40 games the weekend with the defending being inconsistent and the goalkeeping being weird to start with I think Last year, I know the defending and stuff like that wasn't perfect with being able to contain and hold the ball and stuff like that. But this one is more different. I think players can score long shots more frequently this year. Players can pretty much run from one end of the pitch and score straight away instantly without the player touching the ball. It's more of a... I don't think it's skill-based in the defence at all. I think it's more of a kind of positioning-based. If you keep your defenders in the same position without pushing them out of position, it gives you pretty much the best out of everything. So, as you can see on the screen, squad battles, we are Elite 2 here. And we won't get to Elite 1, as you see on my video. I don't, later this week, I did actually get Elite 2 squad battle rewards, which were terrible. I've been Patterson, this has been week 1 of the weekly roundup. Thank you for watching, I will see you next time, goodbye.